guys, Mambo Yajioni. Mambo Kwaje, how are you? Welcome back to the channel. It is Lydia Kinyuran here. Hey, what's up? Welcome. Just cooking my onions. <laughs> what time? What? If not getting in the back, you know what time it is. How could I forget my own intro? I'll be forgetting my intro, guys. I am in my hosting era. I'm in my hosting bag. I am just literally, look at this. Go, Jess. As you can see, I am in the middle of cooking. I am literally just about to put my chicken thighs to cook, and then I gotta put the rice, and I'm gonna make the greens super last minute. Though I'm deciding whether should I make my greens now or should I try to start making my starters, because starters is gonna be halloumi. Our friends from St. Lucia are visiting London, and I was like, you gotta come by. Like, they hosted us so amazingly when we went to see, when we went to see them, we didn't even go to see them. We went to St. Lucia on a random last minute trip. You guys saw the vlog. And then I ended up bumping into Raven, cause obviously that's Raven's hometown. And Raven was with her friends. So that's Khadija and Sham who are gonna come tonight. And Raven as well, Raven's here. Raven's in the country. We've caught a Raven, guys. We've caught a Raven. We've stopped the Raven from flying. Yeah, Khadija and Sham are around. And so I'm hosting them around for dinner because they did such an amazing job of just making us feel so well Welcome to the island. So do you guys remember the catch and cook that we went to? That was Raven, Khadija, Sham, all of their friends. And they welcomed us to St. Lucia so much that they couldn't touch upon my city. You in my city? You in my city? But yeah, they, they were like, they're my city. And I was like, yeah, we're gonna do something about that. So I'm here literally hosting. I haven't even like, my hair is not even done properly. I need to put some foundation here or something to make it look better. I'm more fast about hosting, okay? Let, let, let me show you what I've got set up already here. So here I've got the sauce for the chicken thigh is going i'm using my always pans guys i absolutely love 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 these they're so good for like cooking also presenting as well like i i love them actually i need more colors because so beautiful gorgeous so cooking some chicken i'm just cooking down the onions tomatoes i'm about to add one of these chili beef cubes my mom got these from kenya let me show you them you might probably think that the normal regular chili cubes but it's these ones chili beef cubes chili beef cubes these go off, like these go off crazy. They're so, so yummy and they make your food so delicious. So I'm gonna add some of those. And then in the oven, I've already got my wings. Oh my God, guys. You guys were saying that I always leave the fridge open. I do, I literally do, all the time. <gasps> look at these, let me show you the wings. Oh my God. These look stunning. This is what we've got going here. I've already marinated, cooked, the thighs and separated the jus. This is gonna make the sauce. This looks so freaking good. Now I'm just about to add this onto the tomatoes and onions frying to make a nice juicy chicken that we're gonna have with some rice, which is currently here. Just soaking. I already taught you guys how to make my rice in the microwave in like seven minutes. So that's gonna be done last as well, once the guests get here. So when it came to me deciding what to cook for dinner, it was literally a no brainer. This is one of my favorite recipes. Honestly, it's an absolute fan favorite. Right, when the girls came around, when Leisha and Ashley came around and I cooked this, they were like, who made this? <laughs> I don't know, I feel like sometimes people just gas me. I don't know, I don't know. But my sister, when I told her I was cooking earlier as well, she was literally like, I'm coming. I don't even, I don't actually know if she's actually gonna come, but she says this is her favorite meal that I cook as well. This and wings. And to be honest, she just likes my cooking. I'm actually fat D's. And she likes when I make yo-yo as well. She likes when I make omen. My sister just enjoys when I cook, to be honest. This is one of my favorite meals to cook. It's like fuss free, delicious, hearty, filling, all of the good stuff. And it's easy to make as well. It's a really, really nice, simple, easy meal to make and doesn't require much thinking and I just know that they're, they're gonna love it because today is just more about us catching up like we haven't seen them since we went to St. Lucia you know we're not that fussed about it being fancy or anything and in fact we were thinking about should we go out for dinner and we're like no we want to catch up we want to spend time together so cooking and eating would be the best way to do it. And I'm so freaking happy. I'm so happy that it's all coming together. I've got some finishing touches to do. Behind me here is gonna be the serving station. I've got a little drink. So a little serving station here. And let me show you the table setup. This is the table setup. I really like the fact that the plates, my mom's plates, remember these plates that my mom gifted me? It matches the tablecloth, which I love. I just need to like, these candles and then that's pretty much it. I've also got these candles that were left over from when I had pizza night with the girls. So I'm just gonna light them and have them as display on top of the little vases because I don't have any extra flowers. The setup with the candles lit. I'm gonna put apple juice in here, orange juice in here. I've got cold water there. I love this, it's kind of cute. And then this is what the candles on the side look like.
haven't spoken since yesterday. Last night was amazing. Last night was literally what dreams are made of. I'm so corny, I'm so cheesy, but literally I was like, guys, my heart is swollen. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of how I felt at my birthday, like literally. Last night felt so good. It felt so, so good. We had so much fun with the crew, with Khadija, Sham, Raven. Like, what I didn't know is that I thought that they already knew each other, but they actually just met on the day that we met on the beach. That was Raven's first time meeting them too. So I'm here doing International St. Lucia Link Up for all of our friends. And like, it, feel, it just felt so good. Like, it just felt so good. All of us meeting again in London. After the last time, the last and the first time that we saw them, them on the beach in St. Lucia and they just gave us the best time when we were in St. Lucia we just had an amazing evening like we always say that night we went for the cash and cook one of the best nights of our lives and they are literally in it so having them here oh we had such an amazing time like I wish I could just redo the whole thing I really wish and I'm going to tell you more about it later on but right now well I am on a I'm in a rush I don't know if I'm doing too much matching the bangles and the earrings but it's just because I can't, I'm not doing makeup. I can't do makeup. I don't even have any makeup to do. My makeup is at Uchenna's place. Uchenna being iffy sister. Since my birthday, and it's still been there, guys. As you can see, I had no plans. <laughs> <laughs> so it's only this morning that I was like, oh damn, I need to go get my makeup. But it is what it is. I'm just gonna go as I am. I'm doing something really, really exciting. Guys, the bank, my bank, have asked me to go onto their podcast. And this is celebrating Black History Month. And they are doing a whole series on celebrating our sisters. And they've asked me. They have asked me to go on their podcast. I'm so freaking shook. Boy, I'm so shook. So I don't know what to do. I don't know whether to have my hair up or down or I don't know what to do. I feel like I'm just fussing because I don't have makeup and I feel like maybe, am I lacking? I'm not lacking. This is cute. This is still cute. Cute, right? Maybe I should put two down. This is still cute. Like, I'm very much digging this as a look. I love it. But let's go and speak on this podcast. Let us be going. And then when we come back, we can catch up properly on last night because last night was incredible. I wish I could just bag the energy, the feeling, the vibes, the goodness that we had last night and sell it. <laughs> or maybe just sniff it when I'm feeling sad. I'll be like, Shh. I need that good energy. I need that good love. I need that good friends. Like, I just need it. Need it. Anyway. Let's be going. Are we okay with the look? I think it's okay. It's casual. It's cute. It's giving like brandy. I don't know why I'm getting brandy in the 90s era. Cool. Let's go. Let's go. Got my bag. Carrying my Florian. Black owned bag. I thought it would be nice. A little of color. I don't really know how I want to wear the strap. I might want to try and wear it today. Cross body. But I've never really worn it that way. Yeah. I might wear it cross body today. Seeing as my, my dress, jumper dress is kind of big. You know? All right. Cool. Let's go. Oh, my nails match. All London matching. My nail is still looking so freaking cute. I'm literally thinking about what my next design is going to be already. So I don't panic when I get to the chair. Anyway, let's be going. Let's be going. Guys, it's even a good thing that I'm in Canary because I've actually got a Zara in-store pickup. Sometimes I literally order to the store and then I just go into the store and pick it up. And then that way I can try it on. If I don't like it, try it on and leave it in the changing room instead of it being ordered to my house. And then I never ever take things back. I really want ramen. But I've been seeing ramen recipes on my TikTok and it makes me feel like I just want to make it myself. I don't know. Should I go up this path? Fisherman's Walk, up a Bank Street. I feel like that would make sense. I have no idea where I'm going, guys. None whatsoever. <laughs> inspired by this look at this this looks like something that i would make roses carnations i don't know what these are called though so pretty gorgeous and a nice vase too sit and wait this place is huge checked in just waiting for my contact to come and pick me up and then we're gonna go inside hey are you victoria yes, hey victoria <laughs> nice to meet nice you nice to meet you i'm lydia how does this work is that good for your framing like, yeah so i'll just be facing her right not yeah. the camera yeah. look at her not the yeah. camera yeah you'll be looking at her I might need to take my bangles off, right? Are they? They're making a lot of noise. I hope they have fun. They are. Yeah. No bangles. All right. Hi, Lydia, and welcome to the <laughs> podcast. For those listening at home, could you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about who you are? Sure. Hey. Hi, guys. I am Lydia. I am Lydia Dinger, a lifestyle and travel content creator. I create content across YouTube, Instagram, newly TikTok 
but slowly getting to be used to that. Across socials, I have over 400,000 reach and my content is meant to be kind of just documenting what I'm up to. Part of Black History Month, we're doing a series and the series is all, all about showcasing excellence and celebrating our sisters. So for those of you who don't know, the UK-wide theme is actually celebrating our sisters. And so that's black women who throughout history and in our everyday lives are trailblazing, boundary pushing and doing really excellent things in their fields. And so one of the sisters we wanted to celebrate was Lydia. And so I guess before we jump into your journey, I wanted to ask you, what's one thing you like about your identity as a black woman? And I guess, what does Black History Month mean to you? Guys, all done with the podcast. It's an internal podcast and it's going to go to everybody in this building. It went so well. So Taff called me with an opportunity this morning and I'm just about to take a call for it. Sounds exciting. <laughs> Sounds exciting. Let's make a call. Hello. Hello. Hey, so do, can you hear me better? Yeah, I can, hear, better I can hear you so much better now. So, so much okay, better. Okay, cool. So yeah, as I was just thinking, tomorrow we're basically putting on a fake documentary screening for Nella. And essentially, she's going to be walking into this screening as herself. And then she'll obviously have a hidden earpiece and the other girls will be telling her kind of, you know, crazy things to say and do up until the point she can't take it no more and she just ends up tapping out, which is the premise of the show. Okay, sure. So essentially, we just need someone to help with that aesthetic of creating this um, screening. And there's also a Q&A part of it as well. Yeah. So... We, will, we would have uh, pre-prepared all the questions and all that stuff for you. Sounds good. Yeah. I mean, I think I've watched like one or two tapped out. And um, what time, what's, will, what's call time? We'll be starting, I mean, for you, I think call time will be about nine o'clock, just to give you a chance to speak to the director and just kind of make sure you're comfortable with what you're doing. Okay, 9 a.m. I just need to think out the logistics. Can I give you a call back like in about an hour or so? I'll try and make some calls like to see if I can get ready for tomorrow. And then if I can, then we can definitely go ahead. But I'll need like an hour or so to try and try and figure it out. Wow. Okay, cool. Perfect. Um, yeah, if you come across any obstacles that I can help with to make sure it's make it happen, just give me a shout back and I'll try and help as much as I can. All right. No worries. Thank you so much. Okay. And Thank you. Yeah. I will. Yeah. Let me get back to you when I in the next hour. Okay. So. Thank you so much. All right. Then bye. Take care. Bye. Oh, that sounds really exciting. Presenter Lydia in my presenting bag. Guys, I've really been meaning to like step into this more. And in fact, I think it's just through opportunities that I keep being served to me. And I'm so grateful for because you guys, if you've been watching for a minute, you know that every time like I'm invited to speak somewhere or I'm asked to like host something or I'm asked to be in a panel, I'm like, huh? What? Literally, like, I get so, what's the word? Second guessy. Like, I start second guessing things. I start feeling like, oh my God, imposter syndrome creeping in. Through practice, like, through doing these things that actually genuinely terrify me sometimes. It, but it doesn't seem that way to others. They're like, oh my God, Izzy, you're so good. It's so natural. Inside, I'm like, dying. <laughs> inside i'm like oh my god my heart is racing so fast and like even with that the other day i had an interview with a top bank in canary wolf and i was so i was so nervous i was like y'all want me y'all want me but then because of my practice like literally practice from all the other times where i've been so nervous but i've like managed to just do it get over it and do it anyway and then come out on the other side feeling like oh maybe i can do this you know so although i was nervous for the podcast it wasn't like as usual you know i was like a little bit nervous not a lot bit nervous because i'm usually like i'm i'm off the scale nervous usually but i was just a little bit and i managed to do it and i felt good after and doc called me and she was like how did it go and i was like oh, it went good like it went good and they always go good this is the thing as well sometimes it's just like in my head i have an expectation of what good is and sometimes that can be a little bit high but i also have to know like i'm doing all right you know sometimes you just have to pat yourself in the back like we can be so hard on ourselves like i don't know if that's just me i don't know i'm really excited because those opportunities always create room for growth and each time i grow i feel a little bit more comfortable in the next space that i'm in so now i've got this call today about something a hosting gig that is tomorrow at 9 a.m. I'm like, where typically I'd have been like, oh, hell no. Now I'm like, oh, 
it's hard, but I could do it. Like I could do it. You know what I mean? Like I could do it. I just need to organize the logistics of it all. Like, because I'm meant to be going to Boss Lee's birthday. And we're going to be in Brighton for the weekend. I haven't got the time right now when I think about it, but I have to make time. So the thing is today I'm not really doing anything. So I could just organize, but iffy. Does iffy have time to fit me in? Cause I know she doesn't. I spoke to her yesterday. I was meant to do my hair yesterday. Guys, what is wrong with me? This is why you should just do things when you put in your schedule as of when you put them in. Because if I got my hair done yesterday, this would not even be an issue. I'd have just been like, yeah, sure, cool. Just need to sort out my wardrobe. That was God telling me that I should have just done it. So I spoke to Ify yesterday and I know that her timetable is packed out. She's working nine to seven today. So I don't even think she'll have time to fit me in. And those are the logistical problems that would stop me from doing this. Whereas before it would have been like, oh, I'm too nervous to do it. Now I'm just like, can I get to it? Can I really get to it? And then I need to also probably stop by Zara and find a fit because I'm meant to be the presenter. So we need to make it believable. So I need to dress like I'm actually going to present something so that it doesn't look off. Cause I can't just show up casually to present. Do you know what I mean? So I need to stop by Zara as well. What am I actually meant to be doing today? Let me see my calendar. I have an event. I have to think about this. Let me go and think about this so that I can figure out if I can do this tomorrow because I think I would love to. That would be a great opportunity to work on my presenting. I need to make some calls. I really need to make some calls, guys. I need to figure out hair, makeup, and a wardrobe all within the next hour so I can let him know if I can do it tomorrow at 9 a.m. Okay, gotta go. Guys, I could not have predicted this is how my day was gonna go or even tomorrow, but now that I've said yes, <laughs> Now that I've said yes, I need to make sure that I'm actually ready. It is 3.29 p.m. It is chucking outside, chucking with rain. And I don't even know if I want to stress myself out with trying to go to the shops, like to look for outfits. So I might just wear what I last wore to present, which was this. It was this and the black skirt. I could just do that. Or maybe even, where's my black satin skirt? I could actually just wear this, which is the last outfit that I wore for the Wall of Entertainment summer party. Or I could wear this. Sometimes shop your wardrobe. That's what I have been doing, literally. All this, I love this misguided two piece, but this, this is this is too big for me now. Like every time I wear it, I always think I need to get it tailored. I don't even think I have enough time to go to the tailors. Do I? Do they even do like, is this even same day? Cause I can't even pick it up tomorrow. This is so tight. I'd have preferred to wear this. I haven't worn this in a minute, but I've got this as a backup. So maybe let's, should I go and try and go to a tailors? Is that crazy? This is why I need to learn how to sew. I always wanted to be someone who did that as a hobby. Like I've been saying I need a hobby. Like, cause my my hobby turned into my job <laughs> hi guys <laughs> but now i need a hobby and my the hobby that i really want is to become someone who's good at tailoring clothes because then this would not have been an issue at all i would have literally just cinched it in myself let me see if i can go to the tailors let's go let's go to the tailors guys i have just popped on my Erin's hat anytime you see me in this hat just know that your girl is about town your girl is about her business it's a quick weave at this point <laughs> It's a quick weave, guys. Oh God. I don't even know if the tailor is gonna have availability to do my tailoring. I need it done today, like now, basically as I'm in the shop and it's 3.46 p.m. Oh my goodness. Is it even worth doing this? Or should I just calm down and just do the outfit that I had last time? What would you do? I do need to get some steps in though. So maybe I could just go to the tailor and get some steps in at the same time. Call it two for one, you know? But girl about town, this is the look. Don't, 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 don't judge. I didn't plan for any of this, like whatsoever. What, I wasn't planning on coming out of this robe today. It's not even my robe, but let's take this to the tailor. So I just think that this would be a nicer fit to, for tomorrow. Oh, stress. to the nearest tailor which happened to be like one of these kind of african auntie shops they do everything you know they do they do everything and she is sewing it for me for i just need to go get the cash what i would do anything to the trousers the trousers are completely fine i just need to keep pulling them up but there's really no need to tighten them it's just extra work for no reason but this place is cool look at all this fabric love it love it love it look at auntie's work man look at auntie's work she made the arms fit much better and this waist part also fits better this just looks better the trousers we didn't do anything with it's too much work but at least the top fits better so i think i'm gonna wear this tomorrow i, I like it face beat hair done what do we think 
just need a better bra for this tomorrow though. A better bra. Guys, okay, so I'm back home and I just want to show Dot. I told Dot what my day has been. She had a half day today. So I want to just show her what this looks like once it's been tailored. This one. Okay, that looks nice. Is it giving presenter vibes? Mm -hmm. It is, isn't it? Mm -hmm. No belt, no nothing. <laughs> no belt, no bangles? No. No jewelry? No. Just like, leave it plain as it is? Mm -hmm. Maybe a different bra, a better bra? I don't know, I kind of like that bra. What do you think about the, the, the fit? Yeah, it fits really well. Bit more snatched, right? Oh, it was big, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, it was. She just took in like an inch or two here and also the shoulders. Oh, yeah? Yeah, big purr. Big freaking purr. Real big purr. I'm so excited. I'm just so, so surprised that we're making this work. What shoes? Um, probably just heels. Just the heels that I wore my birthday, like the black ones. Just the plain. Oh, I could do pink. That's too much, too pink. I like that. But are you gonna be uncomfortable? I mean, it's only two hours filming. Are you gonna be sitting down? No, I don't even know. I could do pink. I could do brown. No, not brown, pink. It'll be pink or black or all clear. All clear. I could, how about brown? Oh no, no, no not this brown. Because mm. I think pink might be a bit too pinky, a bit too matchy matchy. Let's see, I kind of like them. I kind of like them to be honest. It is giving very much presenter though, isn't it? It is. Well, oh, auntie really came through, girl. She did. Well, that's so sweet. I'm so, like, I'm so excited for you. I can't wait to see how this turns out. Thanks, babe. Me too. I'm nervous, but we're just forgetting I about this now. good nervous, not bad nervous. Yeah. A little bit, a little bit of nerves gets the... Gets the blood going. Mm, mm, mm. You look too good. Thanks, Shape babe. Too good. Shape nice. Yeah, that's really nice. Like that, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, yes, yes, yes. My bonnet. The one side part bonnet. Side part, side part. <laughs> Middle part bonnet. Okay. <laughs> I'm so happy this worked out. Now I just need to go to Uchenna's to get my makeup. Makeups. Yeah, I need to get my makeup. Get my makeup and then tomorrow early rise, do my makeup and then we we go. I'm so happy. You look so good and you gotta smash it. Thanks, babe. You must be like, damn, you see that girl wearing pink on tapped out? She looks too good. I'm gonna do everything she tell me to. <laughs> Shape nice. Thanks, babe. Guys, by the grace of God, the whole day has gone so well. I'm now just at Uchenna's. I'm here to pick up my makeup bag, which she has had since my birthday because I, if he did my makeup at their place if he and Uchenna are sisters and then me and Uchenna live closer to each other so it's actually easier for her to have dropped off my bag or for me to collect my bag from her than to go to Ify's anyway I'm here to collect my bag but the day has gone so well so so well oh my goodness guys like not only did auntie pull through to tailor my outfit but Mana has also come through for me Mana my babe Mana oh my god Mana MUA she's gonna come and do my hair my hair no she's gonna come and do my makeup first thing tomorrow morning I'm talking like I think she's coming at like 5am in the morning because I need to leave my place at 7 to get to Ify's to be sat at the chair ready to go for 8 o'clock and then she should take about an hour or so to do my hair and then from 9 to like 9 30-ish I'm getting ready getting changed getting dressed hopping in an uber or even driving I haven't decided whether I'm driving or hopping in an uber and then heading off to the location for the shoot and then doing the shoot from around 10 until 12 and then I'm done with that and then I'm gonna go to Brighton for for Bosley's weekender away girls weekender and oh my goodness what like I've done all of this in one day this is what I mean I know I can be doing so much more with my days I just need the pressure I just need the pressure but we thank God like God really came through for me today boy God really came through oh my goodness I didn't think I had strength for any of this to be able to even get this together and for everyone to have aligned to make it happen for me from Mana to Ify to even Uchenna Uchenna like she's busy and she's now here bringing down my stuff I'm just so grateful so freaking grateful I have what I need here, which is my makeup bag. Oh, I'm so happy. So happy to be reunited with this. To be honest, I didn't even miss her. Girl, I did not miss you at all. <laughs> you guys know, like, I literally... It's easier for me to just not wear makeup. I, I find it long. I find it so, so long. Which is why even when it came to, like, thinking about my makeup for tomorrow, like, who's gonna do my makeup tomorrow for this shooting day? Not me. Not me. Guys, so, time to go back home. Yeah! Up, see what 
early, um, thank God. And my love is who? In the morning, my girl come through for me again. Okay, six o'clock, I don't wanna shout, I don't wanna shout. Literally doing 6.15 now. And I'm about to get my makeup done for this shoot day. Feeling good, feeling fine, feeling great. I am just, yeah, meeting Dot there. Dot's gonna be there. Like to meet me, to help me get some behind the scenes. Quick skincare. I'm literally all done with my Estee Lauder. It's so good. So, so good. I'm so sad. This is good stuff. Take a screenshot. You're gonna need that. And I'm gonna go to my now so she can do my makeup. And then we can get going. I need to leave here in the next like 45 minutes to one hour maximum. Guys, Mana came through. My girl came through for me as always. Oh, she did that. She really, really freaking did that. I love it. Look at the base. Look at the base. It's really giving princess. Like, I love it so much. Like, wow. So now all that's missing is hair. Once my hair is done and I've got my outfit on, oh, it's gonna eat. It's gonna eat so freaking bad. I'm so excited. I'm so happy that Mana came through for me. Like, cause I could never have done this. Like I would have done something, but not this, you know? Flawless, soft glam. Now I'm gonna literally take off because I need to have left like five minutes ago, really, to get there on time, exactly at eight o'clock. So let's get going. I'm not even gonna change. I literally, I'm just gonna put some shorts on. I'm going to my dressing gown. I'm going to my girl's house. I'm going and then I'll just get changed when I get to Ify's place. But also hoping to see Dot. Dot's gonna come and join me on set so that she can help me do some behind the scenes vlogging. So yeah, shout out Dot guys. If you get some BTS, it's not me. Clearly I'll be working. Dot's gonna get it for you. Face done, shout out to my girls. They always come out, always come through for me. Come out, come through, come all of it. Very cute. Spectacularly cute. I was planning on going in my dressing gown, but I might just put this on. This is like one of those boo-boos. I don't know if that's actually what you call them. But just in case I have to come out of my car. I remember seeing this TikTok of this girl who was going to pick up her mum at the airport. And then <laughs> her dad crashed the car and they were fine and everything. But then they were stuck on the road with her wearing her dad's shoes. You know when like, you're going to pick up shopping from the car and you put on your dad's shoes or whatever? That's what she had on and the car was broken down. Literally, I just remembered that and I was like, you know what, let me just put something else on. Like, It's not the best, it's not the most glam, but it's something. If something was to happen, I'd come out of the car, not in my dressing gown. Anyway, guys, let's bounce, let's do this. Guys, I've got to Ify's, my hair's being done. I have food. Ify's mom made me food. It's so good, fried rice. Guys, so I am all done. Hair done, makeup done, outfit done. I've even come out of my car. I'm now in an Uber, heading to set. I am feeling so good. I can't believe that we managed to do this in less than 24 hours. Literally, it's not even, how long has it been? They got in touch with me yesterday at around three and it's not even 10 o'clock yet. And here we are camera ready glam shout out to my glam mana did her thing like so 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 freaking cute i had a little bit of a touch up just to make the contour a little bit harder a little bit harsher because i'm gonna be on camera and when you're on camera you need to like you have to cake it on because there's lots of lights on you and there's lots of things going on I'm feeling very freaking cute i haven't decided on my earrings yet though i don't know if these are the earrings that i want to go for because i'm wearing pink shoes a pink dress pink earrings it's giving like over pink but it's kind of cute also and i've got my usual lydia dingo wig from iffy i've had this wig for over I think this is my fourth year now same frontal in fact no i lie i got the frontal replaced once so this is the second frontal i've ever had in this wig in a span of four years that just goes to show you how the quality of iffy london hair like it's good it's such such good quality and i'm not just saying that as you can see same wig same bundles exact same bundles let me get to set i'm gonna get to set at three minutes past 10 which is great because i said i'd be there at 10 o'clock and i'm just really proud of myself really pleased with my team shout out to my team shout out to my team all under the nails as usual these are my birthday nails and they're still going strong like i said this type of gel nail just lasts longer don't play with a thumb be the sign Still We're presenting we know bad guys we're back in the cinema hey nana congratulations on your documentary your 46 second documentary <laughs> that's so funny <laughs> <laughs> guys this is the door the dorothy the dorothy the, the dorothy. baddest the baddest where's the channel subscribe here <laughs> how are you feeling today I'm excited. Um, this is quite interesting. I'm excited to see how like it's just gonna end up. Girl, me too. <laughs> Please, let's carry on with the briefing. We're done. <laughs> 
all I can just to show you you're special. Certain it's your love that holds me together. Maybe you say you be feeling them. Testing one, mic one, test one, two, one, two. Welcome to the documentary screen for the marriage. Shout at you, these type what you've been missing. Looking at you, I'm thinking he must be tripping. Play this song for him, tell just listen. I was all done with filming. It was so awkward, so, so awkward. I have no idea how the girls do it because as somebody who was standing alongside her and she was obviously being chewed and being fed things to say, I was like, ah, oh, also my husband came. Hi. Yay. Thanks, babe. You popped up on me. Hi. Hi. My name's OJ. Nice to meet you. Uh, yeah, that was what I thought. Okay, maybe she felt bad. I kind of realized. Like, yeah. You come to see me and you're not even showing any excitement. I was like, okay. To show us the documentary, yeah, yeah, and then yeah. after the documentary, you'd actually get so another vlog. When the documentary, but I thought it was a trailer. That's <laughs> it. Like, like, you think you haven't even showed us anything? I was like, so well done. You look like you worked really hard on that. They're like, um, yeah, I mean, when you kept saying she walked out, I was like, walked out on what? <laughs> She's like, I'll go cutting some YouTube clips, like. <laughs> Guys, the documentary was basically 46 seconds long and he was part of the audience. What did you think? Did you have a good time? I did have a good time. But it was very good fun. Yeah. The delivery was very good I, because I felt very bad and yeah, it was very good. The and he said he felt good. awkward for me because he was like, why are you talking crazy like, to you? You're, you're there, like, you're just standing there and she's going to find squad and she's going at you and you're just keeping it together saying, guys, please give her a round of applause. Yes. I'm sure you will, all right? Yes, you will. <laughs> I was going to ask you, you made us wait for three hours and now you you have the mouth. <laughs> it was tough. Bye darling. And this babe stood up as well. She was like, oh you know Nella. Because Nella was just having a meltdown. It was so funny. It really was. But um guys, job done. Woo! Shout out to my team. And my team. And my man. Place, two spaces on the side, but bed was there, windows are exactly the same place. In fact, the whole setup of the house looks exactly like our uni house, the cave, where baby C and I lived together with Loza. Big up Loza, my day one. But yeah, this is nice. This is annoying. I changed my outfit, by the way. Changed my outfit. This is the second bedroom. This is where I have put my stuff, as you can see. I am trying to unpack so that I can put some things away in the car so that not everything is out because I have too much stuff, way too much stuff. This is cute. There's this wardrobe here. This looks exactly like our uni setup, like down to the stair rail, down to where the bathrooms are. Like that was mine and Charlotte's bathroom in our house in uni and this was Charlotte's room and that was my room and the light was exactly the same it's so trippy guys so I am literally unpacking <laughs> look at all the stuff that I have I have a whole entire large suitcase and a little mini one and I brought all my hair stuff like a whole my whole freaking little hair salon with my name on it I brought so much and even brought like three pairs of PJs I have just serially overpacked but it is what it is in here these are my clothes i'm really pleased with these actually because it's all black owned Rendon lagos i love this i wore this last in my house house renovation reveal video and then this one again black owned threw me the label wore this last in rwanda and then my coat because it has been raining black owned again I collect it. I love it. Love, love, love. And then obviously I have some other bits as well. But these are my main pieces. And then my suitcase downstairs has a whole lot more other clothes. Because I just couldn't decide. Like I literally couldn't decide. I also changed earlier on from my very shiny two-piece to this. Which I've actually been complimented on the trousers quite a lot. They are from Zara. And my top is Tala. Anyway, I'm going to carry on unpacking. And then I need to ask the girls if they're happy to be filmed. And then we shall see. Wait, 
Hey guys, checking in from Knightsbridge. I'm about to go in for my hydrofacial and today we are having it at Harrods, which I'm very, very excited about. I've literally just pulled up and I've realized there's a Zara right opposite, which is perfect because I need to get ready for this girl's trip. Guys, we're going to see Usher in Paris, but I really, really full-heartedly thought that we're gonna go see Usher in October. Like in my calendar, it's literally listed 28th of October. Now that I'm finding out it's this week, like on Friday, I'm literally trying not to panic. So I've got some bits to go and pick up from Zara just as styling options for the trip. But first I have my facial and I think I need to get a headband. Like my hair, oh, I feel like, I don't know. I thought I did something with my hair, but then now I was looking at it in the train and I was like, oh, you might not have done something, girl. But it is what it is. Yeah, I have some time until my facial. I'm actually early, guys. We're back on time. I'm actually, I've got six minutes. I might just turn this street and see if there's like a super drug or something so I can get a headband just so that my when my facial's being done, it doesn't interfere with my dodgy lace work. <laughs> I said, what lace? This one. <laughs> but it is what it is. Um, yeah. All right, let's go. Let's go. Girl, I guess you didn't know any. Girl, that man is so in it. Do all I can just to show you you're special. Certain is your love that holds me together. Maybe you say you be feeling them. Gotta be sick of this. Pull up skirt, get in the right. Left hand is steering, the other is gripping your thigh. Light up a split finger, I ain't shout at you. These like what you been missing. Looking at you, I'm thinking he must be tripping. Play this song for him, tell him just listen. Uh. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I wonder what's the next time. I'll see you next time. All done. Love it, love, 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 love. So I have just got back from Hydrofacial, getting my facial guys. Feels good, looks good. I'm literally outside Knightsbridge and then I saw an ice cream van right there guys. Tell me why I went to go and get a bubble gum, like a little bubble gum ice lolly, £4.50. I said, I need to remember where I am. £4.50 is wild. That is an insane price. And then he sold somebody a hot dog, one of these lazy hot dogs for £8. Let me collect myself and let me go to Zara. Let me go and pick up what I actually need because I don't need bubblegum ice cream and I definitely don't need it for £4.50. This is a we the economic crash, baby. We the economic crash. I'm tired. <laughs> Literally, I'm tired. I spent the whole day after my facial, which was really lovely. I love my face. Looks great. After my facial, I went to three Zara's in total looking for an outfit for this concert, which I have on Thursday. Bear in mind, today's Tuesday, and I could not find anything. Literally, all I found is a shirt like this white shirt couldn't find the jeans to go with it couldn't find trousers well in fact i found jeans but the jeans that i found were like too big and then i'm like do i want to start going to the tailors do i want to go and find it it's just long it's stressing me out i think i need to go home and rummage my wardrobe like in my mind top of mind i'm thinking the dress that i wore on damini's birthday the little brown dress i might just wear there again and then find another black dress to wear because I'm tired. Uh, it is 4.13 and my appointment is at midday. I have spent four and a half hours shopping. Guys, I needed a glass of wine. Like, I needed it. I can't. I don't enjoy it. I don't know how people do it. I wish I could do it. I really wish I could. But it's going to have to be a repeat. And to be honest, I'm not the only one. I was even speaking to Ify earlier and we all thought that this holiday was coming up in 
in October. But no, we got it wrong, all of us, apart from Temi. Temi who organizes everything. I'm here to just grab some food, literally have a chill, have some wine, grab some food, take it home so that my husband can have some food to eat because I, I'm, I, nobody's cooking, I ain't cooking. And today is Tuesday, so I'm gonna be coming back from work all tired and hungry, so I'm just gonna take some Zizis home and then I'm going home, I'm seeing Leash and Ash, which is LLA, L group chat, Lydia, Leisha and Ashley. So we're having a chill girls night and it was meant to be like a healthy girls night in just ordering but guys I could not wait like we're meant to be meeting in the next two and a half hours I'm too tired I needed a reset like quick sit down have some food have a think and that's how I've arrived at the fact that I'm just gonna rummage my wardrobe there has got to be something that I'm sure my late lunch dinner we've got food to go for Damini and also some wine for the girls night pulling up for girls night guys look at my hair <gasps> so messy your babe's tired but we've got a bottle of wine for our girl I'm so excited for this You slot. You see these bits, so just <laughs> it up. Wait. And what's this for, baby? So this thins it. Yeah. So this is like an automatic rolling pin. Yeah. And that chops it up into the different types of pasta. Oh. So one's ooh. fettuccine and one's tagliatelle. Look. <laughs> Are we ever gonna eat today? This one is tagliatelle, and the other one is who? For to who? Fettuccine. Fettuccine, mate. Fettuccine. Okay, cool. Right, so this is this is good. Now we just need to make the pasta. Damini find, found this double O pasta. He asked me about it. I was like, wait, we don't even have that in the UK. And then look, comes back with double O pasta. Bounces back. She's good. Look at that bounce back. <laughs> yes. Stage one of pasta making is done. We've made the dough. Now we want to make what are we having? Beef? Beef who? Beef. <laughs> beef if it was beef style of. <laughs> I think. Stiganoffi? Scarabra? Let's leave something. We're the first I gotta go. Cheers. Listen, look at. Look at my one. Lydia wants her, 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 her mushrooms to be pencil thin. Thin, nice, gorgeous. <laughs> Where your bold has gone. <laughs> I don't have. Did you cut them? Boulders. He cut them twice again. See, look, look how babe. thick. Please, you tried to, you, you tried it, babe. Look at the thickness. <laughs> you tried it. Plus, Damini, when I went to get the camera, you quickly prefer, cut them. Give them <laughs> Look at this. That was, the, this is how, this is the thickness Look at in which I like my mushrooms. The spades. And I don't actually like them like, Has, like that. I like them more babe, like in a square. Let me teach you the techers, just say that. I don't like your techers, that's what I'm trying to explain to you. <laughs> But apparently you don't see He, he to tried this. to copy me doing my fine no, shopping. Oh, Look at his yeah, audience. Just, Look at the size of his audience.
This is so good. I've just tasted that some now and it's so yummy. Wow, wow, wow. I'm gonna have the recipe linked below. The one that I found on TikTok. Good afternoon guys, good afternoon. Just putting away my earpieces. I've been using these JBL Pros and yeah, this was one of the presents for the Dinger Step Challenge in July. Guys, just as a heads up, by the way, just so that you know early, we're definitely doing the challenge in January and we're definitely doing the challenge in February, like for sure, for sure. That's what's happening. So I'm in Shoreditch and I'm here to see the chiropractor to help with my back, my never ending back issues, literally. I'm so, so, so glad to be getting it sorted out. I'm actually a little bit ahead of time. So I'm just literally here chilling and I thought I'd say hi to the vlog. The last time you saw me, we were making pasta, which I wasn't actually planning on vlogging, as you can see by, by the state of me. <laughs> yeah, we made pasta and that was really, really nice. Like the stra beef stragonoff, it was so, so good. So tasty. And I'm actually very surprised that we managed to make the pasta without any hicks. Yeah, I really love that. I love doing stuff with Amini and like just spending time doing creative stuff. Like we do a lot of that kind of stuff and I really love it. And yeah, today we're going to the chiropractors. So let's do that. And hopefully they can help sort this back out. Like literally because it's an off. It's an off. Okay. Also, this is the week after my birthday, so I am coming down from a very high high. Everything needs to be redone. The lashes, the brows, the house needs a tidy. Everything. Like I need to do a proper life reset again. You know, like when it's your birthday, there's so many things happening. And although this year I actually wasn't even thinking that there was anything happening for my birthday this year. Remember, like I told you guys, but still, birthday time is always so intense that after you literally need a holiday. You need a holiday to recover from the birthday. Anybody else agree with me here? Surely. That's where I'm at right now. I need to do everything. Prep. Like, I basically need to do life prep all over. Eyebrows, lashes, skin. Nails are good, at least. Guys, so do you remember a few vlogs back when Renny had the Randall pop up? It was in here. Literally right in here. We are in Shoreditch. It's like the artsy side of London, guys. Look at the clouds. Oh my God, this is so dramatic. So dramatic. But we are in the artsy side of town london town it's like a different store in there pretty cool and then if you go down this way and you turn right there's box park box park is basically where there's like the african stores that i'll be telling you the pop-up the pop-up stores that have african bits they have loads of these murals as well so the chiropractor is like up there you have to go down to the left of veggie prep and then go down here this way the sun is out today okay yeah right here number three yeah guys checking in at heart tick chiropractors i came with the kit because i really want you guys to see what we get up to here the whole cracking and everything i've been here once before and i should do twice before um for alignment and i felt a lot better for it afterwards but it's definitely something that you need to keep up it's not something that you can just do once and then like be done with it it's kind of like a something that you need to implement in your health routine so that's something that i need to be better at right yeah. i need to be better <laughs> at it because i don't know why it's just getting a time to come it's like everything you have to just make space and make time for things that are important so yeah we are here to do my alignment and i'm gonna hopefully show you guys that's why i have the whole kit and we've got the team here as well helping me like get everything together guys i'm so hectic i'm such a hectic energy <laughs> but it's fine um yeah we're gonna set up and then i'll show you guys and i'll tell you a little bit about it afterwards as well muscle really relax this let it go that was a big one that was a big one right this hand is just going on top of your chest you're going to turn your head this way that's it and then this hand is going to come around give me a big hug the shoulder really let it go that's it and then all that's going to happen is we're going to sandwich down like that oh your wrist went <laughs> breath in and all the way out Breath in for me. And all the way out. Really let it go. One more time. Let it breath in. And all the way out. Breath in. And all the way out. Oh, breath in. And 
turned all the way out. Um, so basically, when you were lying onto your front, mm -hmm. this leg was pulling a lot shorter than this leg. Oh, and so yeah. you're pulling about like a centimetre shorter. Yeah. So it's all just from the restriction in the joints down here. So as soon as we adjust it, it gets yeah. back into place. But, you know, sleeping onto your front, you know, with, with like your leg up like this, mm -hmm. or sitting with your legs crossed like mm -hmm. that, those are the kind of movements that cause that leg length to essentially shift out of place. So avoid those, okay. avoid those things. So just push into my hand now, with about 20%. In, up. Yeah, push upwards. Brilliant. So I'm going to teach you a stretch that I want to start doing onto your hip flexors. Mm -hmm. um, ideally every day. Mm -hmm. If not every day, it's, not, it's completely fine. But we just need to work on just releasing this, keeping this muscle nice and lax, mm -hmm. so it stops all that pressure and load building into your low back. Mm -hmm. It's not looking too shifted. Amazing. Amazing. We're all done. Very welcome.